Hey guys, it's Sniffboard here, and, um, new Pokemon trailer, it, it's happened. We're about a month away from the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so they've released a 14 minute long trailer of the game, basically just going over what happens, so today I'm just going to be going over that, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So to start off with, it just goes through the usual Pokemon stuff, where it's just like catching, battling, evolving, trading. And then it also shows basically just Coridon and Maridon traversing uh, Paldea and also some Pormi. And then it goes on to talk about the Academy and the treasure hunt is mentioned by the NPCs. The narrator in the trailer also quotes that you search for a treasure of your very own. I'm not sure what that's meant to mean, it's probably something important to the plot of the game. So yeah. Then we get a bit of gameplay of four different players. Basically, the first one uh, walks into a Lechonk and starts a battle with it. Uh, he basically just uses Quaxley uh, against the Lechonk, which is level 17. And yeah. It then goes, goes on to show Quaxley terrestrializing against the Lechonk. So it basically, just gets the crystal look, the fountain on its head. And then it just basically just says, oh yeah, this is the Terra Style phenomenon. Every Pokemon can do it, but some can change types, things like that. And it like boosts the power, as we already know, so. And then it just goes on to another little bit, which I'll get on to now. So in the next clip, the player with his Quaxley um, actually finds a Litleo, which I'm happy about because that's means one of my favourite Pokemon's back. And he basically, with, without the player's command, the Quaxley just charges straight towards it and just fights it, knocks it out. And it gets a Litleo tough, so that's a new item, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if they had that in XY. But yeah, he, he got that. Just battled it on his own. Next up, it's basically in the desert, and it shows a glowing Jigglypuff, which uh, the player starts a battle with, and the, jig the, the Jigglypuff, the wild Jigglypuff by the way, terrestrializes, and so yeah, it's basically a terror, po it's a terror battle, and it has the water type. So yeah. So next, the Quaxley just deals damage to the Jigglypuff, and basically says if a terror Pokemon takes enough damage, it'll unterastalize and just become normal, so they show that with the Jigglypuff, it just becomes a normal Jigglypuff again. And the player catches the Jigglypuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Then it shows basically the Pokedex, and I gotta say, I think it actually looks really, really nice. They're still using the sprites from BDSP, they moved on from the basically pixel sprites. But yeah, they show a couple of what the new Pokemon would look like there. And I think it looks really good. Then it basically shows six different Pikachu terrestrializing into six different terror types and it says any Pokemon can have any of the eighteen terror types, so if you have one Jigglypuff which is like water type, I'm assuming that means you have another Jigglypuff that is like grass type. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, I just found out the player did use a command, it's the let's go where the Pokemon just battles on its own and the player can just go around and do whatever they want, so. Oh, it also says the let's go command can actually be used to send a Pokemon to an item which it will then bring back to you. It shows that with the TM for Swift. So yeah. After that it basically just shows the map and the player basically sets a marker on the map so he can show where he wants to go. And then it just shows basically the player riding Maridon. And then literally two seconds after they found they find like a team star base. Which I mean it says there's different provinces in different areas and stuff, so I'm guessing there's gonna be different like team star sort of gangs in different places. Which is a bit different to what we've had before. So the player goes to battle team star and it says, oh yeah, you can use the first three Pokemon in your inventory. Well, 
Wow in your party, and then they just start battling them. It's basically giant horde battles, like you send out three Pokemon, then like 50 grunts come along and send out like hundreds of Pokemon. And it's basically just non-stop until you can get through. So, it's basically just using the Let's Go stuff just to get themselves through, and then they finish. And then the Fortnite Battle Bus comes along. I've been waiting for this. I wanted to see this in the trailer. And then there's Mela, uh, the obviously Team Star boss, and basically shows a battle with that as basically a boss fight. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't show any footage of the battle between the player and Mela. It says you have to uh, find out on your own, which makes me think the battle bus is going to fight the Pokemon. Because the engine of it was leaked to be a Pokemon. So yeah, I wanna I wanna see like a Weedle or something basically just beat up Fortnite. Yeah. It also shows a TM machine at the Pokemon Center, which I honestly think is really cool because basically you can craft your own TMs now. So if there's a certain move you want, if it's in the TM machine, you if it, and you have the right items, you can craft it and give it to your Pokemon so they can learn the move, which I think is really cool. So next up it moves to another player and basically they go into the desert and you see some cloths. And then Arvin basically calls on the road on phone and is like, he's trying to find the Herba Mystica stuff, so after that um, it shows basically the Titan Cloth, which I were, I'm so excited to see how this like turns out. I think it looks really good. And then basically it's the battle between the Titan Claw and the trainer. So I think that's really cool. So you can terrestrialize during these Titan battles and basically it just shows the Drickloon changing type to grass to uh, basically fight floor. And it also shows the Terra Blast move which changes type depending on the Terra type. So that's cool. Then the player trades with another player. It's a giraffe rig for a Grafii. And then it shows the player she traded with basically just training up the giraffe rig by fighting it with a Venonat. And this is probably, I think this is the first new thing we got in this trailer. And basically, giraffe rig evolves in this game. So basically, it just obviously shows giraffe rig evolving in the world. So yeah, the draft rig evolution happens, and I'm gonna be honest, it looks a little bit sus. And so, its tail becomes its head, well, sort of, basically, uh, it looks like the head's wearing the tail, sort of, and that's why it looks like Among Us. And the name of it is Farrow Giraffe, which is sort of giraffe rig backwards but also not it's kind of swapped around so yeah next it shows one of the towns which is artisan which is basically i'm pretty sure the grass type gym is so yeah she does end up going to a gym at, for the victory road thing and basically it's just the, the gym trial and i'll get on to that now so the gym challenge in the artisan gym is to find all the sun flora in the area and then you move on to the actual gym battle against against Brassius so yeah we'll talk about that now as well so Brassius sends out a pseudo wudo and that terrestrializes into a grass type which is the type it should have been anyways the players Fido also terrestrializes and becomes a flying type, which will now be super effective against the pseudo Wudo since it's obviously now like a grass type. So basically yeah, that's the battle. The Fido won. Fido wins, obviously, because super effective. Next up it shows like the character customization in terms of like haircuts. As it shows like hair colours, hair styles. And then it also shows stuff like eye shape and eye colour. So it's kind of like they've added like knees, which I think is pretty cool. 
I think it looks great actually. And then it shows the camera app on the Rokon phone, which is like you can take selfies, which is really cool. I think that's a really good idea. You're probably going to have to post them online as well. So, yeah. You can also set the selfies as your online profile pictures in game. So, if you find something you find cool, you can basically set that as your profile picture and other players online will be able to see that. So, that's pretty cool as well. The other new thing it shows is picnics. So, like, basically, you can clean off the Pokemon, you can feed them. It kind of gives me Nintendo sort of vibes. Because, like, obviously, feeding, playing, washing. I think that's really cool. Another thing it shows during picnics is that you can sometimes find Pokemon eggs, which I think looks like is a really good idea. And you can also make sandwiches. So if you have certain ingredients, you can make different types of sandwiches. I guess they can really work in the same as like the curry in Sword and Shield. So I think that's quite cool how they've remade that because, I mean, you actually get to put your own ingredients on the sandwich instead of just clicking a button and it's done. Next up it shows the um, four player multiplayer and they will go to one of the terror ray battles. Uh, they're using a Sableye, a Ferrigerath, a Driflim and a Wigglytuff against the Chansey. And yeah, obviously the Chansey is going to be terrestrialized. And it actually has the ghost type, which is quite cool. Something else I've noticed is that the terror ray battles also have a timer, uh, which I guess makes up for the no attack delay. So, yeah. It also shows when a Pokemon faints in a, a like, terror raid, it can heal up and come out come back out into the battle after a few like seconds or minutes and then it just explains how it's all about like the teamwork and everything to help boost stats take down the pokemon anyways that's going to do it for this video um, i'm going to have a planet zoo video out the weekend where i'll also be going over some news for that as well as the gameplay and i also have a doom eternal video going out soon so look out for that anyways yeah if you enjoyed uh, consider liking and subscribing, it really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.